Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time you join me in a turn of forest in Diamond and Pearl where I was going for pretty much anything other than a Wormpool, a Silcoon or a Cascoon. For the majority of this hunt I was actually using a level 11 Repel Trick which removes all of this stuff. However, when I found the shiny I actually wasn't Repel Tricking for some reason so I guess I was pretty lucky to not phase on something bad. I also wanted to clarify some confusion about repel tricks in areas with double encounters in these games. So essentially when you repel trick a double encounter, the loss of encounter rate due to the repel trick stacks for each Pokemon. For example, the repel trick I was using had a base 40% encounter rate, aka 0.4, but with double encounters this actually dropped to 0.4 to the power 2 or 0.16 or 16% encounter rate. So for really low encounter rates this may mean that it's actually more efficient to single hunt than double hunt. However, you also have to factor in that with double encounters, you only have to go through one set of battle animations for two Pokemon, which does actually save quite a lot of time as well. And because of this, uh, the level of 11 Repel Trick that I was using was still far quicker with double encounters than with single encounters. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough about that, so I will get into the shiny now, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Shiny Mistrevis, thank you, thank you, it's over. I have been so unreasonably unlucky this month. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm really, really happy with that. I was watching... The mic. I was watching CPU Blue on, on stream, actually. Um, so, shout-outs to him. Uh, this came after... 15,022. That's a really nice one though. Yeah, so... <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and try and catch it now. So, um, yeah. I guess I don't really need to change the layout or anything, so... Uh, but I may cut just to rearrange my mic and stuff, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, so we're back here with the shiny Mistrevis, so I will switch into my Monferno and take out the Chansey. Fortunately, as it's a ghost type, we don't have the, the risk of it being knocked out. I don't really have a good strategy to catch it though, unfortunately. Um, I have a Master Ball and I have some other balls to throw at it. Um, so I'll throw some balls at it. If it takes a while, I know it doesn't have a very good catch rate, so it's possible that the capture may take a while. That's frustrating that it's used Endure there. Actually, no, it's not. We're trying to kill this Chansey anyway. It's fine that the Bonera used Endure. But yeah, like, I think I'm just over 10k Pokemon seen total since my Rock and Roller, so it's not really that awful, actually, but uh, it was kind of frustrating to go like over odds again after you know after <laughs> after you know 20k 28k drought or whatever right let's i'm gonna try and endure again but we're gonna muck punch here Now I'm just going to check if there is anything, so I don't think it knows any spooky moves. I want to check if there's anything I can use to status it. Um, I don't think so. I think we just have to throw balls and hope for the best, so um, yeah. I may speed up this section if, the, if it takes like a long period of time, but we're just going to throw Pokeballs. Uh, and then, yeah, <laughs> if it looks like we're going to be unsuccessful, I'll throw a Master Ball. I probably should keep track of PP, but yeah, this potential that this bit may be sped up.
Alright guys, so we're on to the last ball here. Uh, so if I if this doesn't catch it, then I'm going to have to master ball it, which is kind of embarrassing. But um, maybe I should have prepared more for this. But I mean, I'm glad at least I put the master ball on the game. Yep, looks like we're going to have to master ball it. We've gone through about 16 or 17 poker balls, two premier balls, five heel balls, a couple of net balls as well. But... Fortunately, I was sensible enough to transfer over, trade over a master ball, uh, because, yeah. I did hear that these have pretty awful catch rate, and that is no joke. They do have horrible catch rate by the looks of things. Uh, it's apparently 6% uh, with a Pokeball at full health, so maybe I got a little bit unlucky, but... Uh, yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing that I had to master ball it, but uh, it's better than failing it. Um... I don't have a nickname right now. <laughs> I think I just want to save at this point after that uh, long and arduous capture. Which, yeah, that will definitely be sped up in the video. But yeah. Um, I don't know if I've got any nature guesses. Uh, my girlfriend guesses lonely. Well, I've got one nature guess. She guesses lonely and I guess... Um, I guess quiet. Um, I'm just going to save again, just because that was <laughs> a bit painful. Used up all my Pokeballs. Right, let's, uh, let's check it out. Uh, so as I said, my girlfriend guesses lonely and I guess quiet. And it's hardy. I think that's a neutral nature, but I'm not 100% on that. Let's see if I can get out of here without triggering an encounter so I can show it off in this in a single encounter. Yep. Right, here we go. Uh, we'll switch to the front now and show it off, uh, show it off in a battle. Uh, and I'll probably showcase the evolution and such, because it's got a pretty nice... If only Miss Magus is pretty cool in 4th gen. It's a really good target to... Uh, actually, this is technically my second ever phase in Eterna. Uh, I did... I, I did a phase in 2010 and got a Silcoon. And this is the first time I've come back to it since then. I was doing a Repel trick most of the time, actually, but... To get a... Just, <laughs> I kind of gave up on that this evening, because I wanted some fast encounters and we still got one of my targets, so really happy with that. Uh, there's a normal Buizel. Oh, I forgot the star use, not knocked out. Why do I always mess this bit up? <laughs> All right. Shiny Mysterious. Bought in a Master Ball. I will attempt to show it off one more time if I can leave this battle. Right, we'll switch it to the front this time and I'll show it off again properly. Another normal Buizel. And a shiny mystery list. I'll catch you back in a little bit for the evolution into Miss Majors. Uh, so I'll see you then. Oh, all right there, guys. Uh, we're back now. I traded over a Dusk Stone to this game, so we can now um, go ahead and evolve the Mysterious into a Shiny Miss Majors. Shiny Miss, Miss Magus is a really, I mean, they're both really, really nice shinies, to be honest. There's so many really, really great new evolutions. Well, of the new evolutions introduced in Sinnoh, so many of them have really, really awesome shinies. And I definitely want to, you know, hunt more of them uh, in the future when I get around to it. But yeah, really, really happy to get this one again. Shiny Miss Magus is really awesome. I really love the really love the color scheme on that. So I will go ahead and show this one off into a battle now. 
that's at the front of the party. Really cool that you can evolve it so early because of the stone as well. So it's going to be really fun playing through the game. I'm sure it's really powerful. I'll try and teach it Shadow Ball or something. But yeah, let's go ahead into an encounter now. So there's a normal Shellos. And Shiny Miss Magius. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's all for this video now. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, so I'll see you then.